Uh, hi, uh, hope you're doing well. Uh, okay, now today I want us to learn uh, how contractors uh, self hold. Uh, probably you've been seeing all these, uh, you know, especially direct online starter, um, and then you wonder uh, how the contractor remain energized, uh, especially when you're using these push buttons. Le First, let's know how we are going to do circuit and we connect circuit and we connect. Now, first of all, the first thing we'll do, we we'll first draw a circuit here. Now, that's our coil. This is L, this is N. Neutral, this is A1, this is A2. So, what if you want your contactor to behave like that? To use it directly now. What we do, let us connect. This is A1 of the contactor. This is A2 of the contactor. Okay, uh, now, this is exactly what you are seeing here. You can decide to connect it directly. Now, let's see what happens. You see, it's in. All right. So, what if you don't want to control to, to control it like that? You need this. What if you need uh, start and stop, not just a mere on and off switch? Okay, now here we come with uh, another simple circuit. So what if you do this? This is A1. This is A2. This is L, that is N. Now, this is stop, this is start. And this is your coil here. Let's do that and see how important is how self-holding is. So we go ahead and uh, disconnect this. Okay, because uh, we will leave a neutral because we are not going to use it anyway apart from supplying the coil. Now we are looking at this circuit here. Okay, now we have this. So first thing, this is our supply and uh, we will have to connect it here, number one. Then the second thing we'll have to loop here, here that is number two and number three. So let's screw that in. Number two and number three. Okay. We have to connect such that we give the coil supply. Okay. Now we need to give coil. That's A1. We need to give it a supply like that. Learn how to uh, to make self holding, you know, circuit. Now, our circuit is still here. We've just done exactly that. 
Now let's get our power. That's it. Our contactor is right there. Now you start. Hope you are able to see that. Okay. Now you want to use the start stop push button to run your drive probably but uh, you don't know how the thing can self hold itself such that when you press because you're not going to keep pressing like this you understand it's only in Ford and reverse where we don't have retaining but here we need to have a retaining that's the holding okay so I'll show you how Now, remove our power. So exactly here, what you're going to do is you will have to utilize one of these. You will have to employ something like this. You see that? Like that. Now this will act. Now when you press here, this one will go inside. And by the time you release here, this will not open, it will remain closed. Because now current will be passing there to the coil, here to the coil. Before it was here, when you release it goes off, now here. Okay, now let's do that. Okay, remember our coil is here, the supply of our coil is here. Now what we need to do is to get a wire And we need to connect this supply from this side so you can connect it either way. If you connect it here, you won't be able to switch off. If you connect it here, you won't be able to switch off. So we have to connect it this end. Okay. Okay, now this wire is here. What you need to do is to take one of these contacts. There are four contacts. Probably you will have used the three, so you have one contact here remaining. If you don't have, you find an auxiliary. Normally open, you hook it here. So now that's done, but still. We are not getting anything here. Still nothing. It's not retaining. So what we have to do, we have to connect uh, uh, now here the coil to retain. Yes, you just put it exactly here. So the circuit is very simple and you've, it is precise. So if you have understood the circuit, yeah, it will save you a lot of time. Okay, now let's go ahead and start this. You see, now it retains very well. Off, on. Okay, uh, thank you very much uh, for watching. Hope this will help and that's how it's done. Please don't forget to like and subscribe. Thank you very much and uh, have a good one.